let's color analyze this person together. Here is one of the pictures she supplied. This is colored hair in this picture. Here is one of her historical pictures with her natural hair color. Here's another historical picture with her natural hair color. Cheers! Another view of her. Here's a close-up of her eye that she supplied. Here's a picture with her natural coloring isolated. In this part of the video, I'm gonna share with you a couple of the color comparisons done. So here is step one, cool versus warm. If you're a client of mine who received a personalized virtual color analysis report, on the bottom of page one of your report, it indicates the color analysis checks that I do when going through these color comparison steps. I recommend blowing up the uh, color backgrounds that you received uh, with your picture on them and really evaluating uh, each of the checks that I do with the screen blowed up. And then you can zoom in and out and see uh, different things from different perspectives. Hopefully this part of the video helps you if you're processing color analysis results and reviewing your report. My first piece of advice when uh, looking at color comparisons is to ignore the color and focus on the face in the picture. So here's cool and this is warm. Neither of these is perfect, but we're, uh, each step of color analysis, we're looking at what is better. It's a process of elimination. So when I focus on her face over here versus here, I find her face more brighter, uh, less shadowing, more lift to the jawline over here. Over here, the color is swallowing her up. Uh, there's patchy in her coloring and uh, there's additional shadowing brought on to her coloring over here and lucky for this client or lucky for me uh, this client realized before booking her a uh, virtual color analysis that her undertone did lean warm there's another look at cool versus warm uh, cool over here uh, versus warm over here and again to repeat neither of these uh, colors are perfect we're again looking at what is better and over here she is the focus, the color's not swallowing her, there's lift to the jawline, she's got healthier coloring, brighter coloring, more uh, even coloring, and over here there's shadowing brought onto her coloring, it's heavy at the jawline, the color's swallowing her up. Another word for that would be the color's overwhelming her. Because she leans warm in step one, in step two we focus in on the warm home seasons, and those are spring, versus autumn. With the autumn side, I see the color swallowing her up. Her skin goes shadowed and patchy. There's heaviness at the jawline. Whereas over here, uh, she is the focus. Her skin's brighter. Uh, there's more lift to her jawline. The color's not overwhelming her. You're more inclined to focus on the jawline here versus here. You're more inclined to focus up at her eyes, which is the goal of color analysis for all eyes to be drawn to your eyes. Well, while also adding vibrancy to your look. It's a facelift without the surgery. If you're having trouble seeing the color analysis checks, sometimes people resonate with this point of view. Which uh, face picture is more 3D? Because that speaks to the person being the focus and not the color. And the 3D look, in my opinion, is over here. Another look at spring versus autumn and the same sort of things. The color over here swallowing her, skin is shadowed, uh, it's heavy at the jawline. Uh, she is not the focus. We're over here, she is the focus. And if you're on a platform right now and uh, these colors uh, don't seem like the right saturation or what have you for uh, the color palettes just be aware I have no control on how uh, these colors are uploaded in uh, the platforms these are certainly on my screen and the screens that I use to do color analysis appropriate for the palettes and then in step three of color analysis which is the next step of color analysis because this person leans spring the flows of spring are looked at true spring bright spring light spring and warm spring and warm spring is the palette between uh, spring and and autumn, this person, when step three was looked at, the true spring was still the winner. Here's a look at this client in autumn sort of family colors. And to me, the outfit is the focus. There's no like light shining up at her and adding vibrancy. She She's not energized as much as I would like to see it. Here, this is harmony picture was actually in her submission file and she shared that she 
actually was surprised that she loved wearing this spring coral flavored shirt in her submission and was now wondering in her submission if she did lean spring because prior to her color analysis, I believe she felt she leaned more autumn. Here's another after picture she supplied in her true spring colors. This is a new t-shirt that she purchased once receiving her color analysis result. Here's her lovely update email sent in after receiving her true spring results. She's so relieved and finally happy to know for sure that she is a true spring. Looking at her color analysis report from my service, she doesn't understand how she could have missed that she was a true spring. I was on a Zoom call the other day with a true autumn client who asked me uh, for celebrity examples of True Autumn people so that she could look those up. And I said to her, well, why not look up my content and look up True Autumns there because those are people who have actually been color analyzed. Grabbing celebrity pictures off the internet with makeup on and colored hair and what have you is not really doing a color analysis. And I'm not a fan of content uh, of that nature because when do you see in content like that that this coloring can be true spring? Typically for uh, true springs uh, out there on the internet searches, it says golden hair and, and bright blue eyes and, and peaches and cream skin. But when the color analysis checks actually are done on uh, people, this coloring can also land at a true spring result. Thank you so much to this virtual color analysis client for sharing her pictures and color analysis update with us. Yay, true spring, I'm filled with appreciation for you.